Hi, this is Suzanne for Rainbow Loom. Today I'll be showing you how to make the Serpentine Bracelet. This is an intermediate level design. To make this bracelet you will need 12 A colored bands, 14 B colored bands, 12 C colored bands, and 12 D colored bands. You'll also need your C-clip. It's a good idea to have these supplies ready before you begin, so pause the video here until you're ready to follow along. Now, let's get started. Place your loom so that the red arrow is pointing away from you. Refer to the diagram on the screen as we place the first eight bands. We'll start from the center pin and place band 1A going out to the left. The next band we place will be 2B. Place that band just above the other one, up the center. The next band we place will be on the left side, band 3C. And then 4D will extend from the center out to the left. We continue with 5A. And then 6B up the center. 7C placed up the right side of the loom and band 8D will extend from the center out to the right. We'll repeat the pattern one more time and then we'll fast forward to the end of the loom. 1A 2B 3C, 4D, 5A, 6B, 7C, and 8D. We'll fast forward from here and refer to the diagram on your screen until you reach the end of the loom. And there we finish placing all the bands on the loom. Before we continue, we'll need to place a cap band on this last pin. Grab an A-colored band, put two fingers through each side, twist it into a figure eight, turn it back upon itself, and place it on the last pin. Now we're ready to start looping the bands. Place your loom so that the red arrow is pointing toward you. Refer to the graphic on your screen as we loop the first eight bands. We'll start from this center pin with your hook. You'll put, pull back the cap band, grab band 1D. You make sure you grab your D band, pull that up, hold the cap band down with your thumb, and pull that band out. Next we'll loop band 2C. Pull the D bands back, grab the C band with your hook, and pull that forward. Next we'll loop band 3A, reach into the point of this teardrop, grab your A band, and pull it to the center. 4B will be looped forward. You can reach in here, pull back that band, and pull your B band to the center pin. 5D will be looped out to the right. Reach into the center of that pin, 
pull back all the bands above the D band, grab the D band in your hook, and then pull it out to the right. We'll loop band 6C next, reach into the teardrop, pull that band back, grab the C band, and pull it forward. 7A will be looped to the center, and 8B will be looped forward. We'll repeat that one more time. 1D, 2C, Three A four B five D reach into the center, pull all the bands above that one back, grab your D band and pull it out to the right. Band six C Pull forward, 7A pulled to the center, and 8B will be looped to the forward center pin. We'll fast forward from here, refer to the diagram on your screen until you reach the end of the loom. And we'll loop this last band to the center pin. Now we're ready to finish the bracelet. Put all the bands on the last pin up to the top. Slide your hook down through the channel of the last pin and tilt it out to the side. Make sure that all the bands are around the hook. Place a B band on the end of your hook and pull back. Lift it up through, place both ends of the band up on your hook and slide it up to the thickest part. Now with your fingers you'll lift the bands from the loom and continue to pull your bracelet from the loom. If made on one loom this bracelet will need to be extended to fit a wrist comfortably. To extend a bracelet place your loom so that the red arrow is pointing away from you. For smaller wrists you may only need three or four bands. For a larger wrist you may need to use six or more to make this extension. You'll place these bands up the right side of the loom and then once you have them all placed you'll loop them. After you place your last band You'll place your cap band on this last pin and stretch it to the one behind it. You will locate the cap band on the end of your bracelet and you will pull the cap band from that last pin to the one behind it. Then you'll loop the bands. And then after you looped this last band, you'll stretch it to the middle pin. And that creates an area here at the end where you can attach your C-clip. You grab your C-clip with the open side facing forward and place that over your band. Then you can lift your extension from the loom. On the other end of your bracelet, you'll pull the hook away and slide your two fingers 
in that band. You secure your bands on one side of the C-clip and hold those. Then put it over this band and pull that to the other. And there we have a finished serpentine bracelet.